Okay. Okay. So I've walked out to the other group that was out here. So you can kind of get a better idea. They might be a little flighty because that's how they are. Um, but again, you're going to see the body conditions. This group here, I'm not sure. This might be the, the group that just uh, a couple of months ago to maybe, I think it was in August, that they were in the breeding pen. So they were, um, they had some hay then, uh, a, a winter forage, but that was it. And then um, they, since, they've been on this pasture, which is anywhere I care either 15 or 18 acres but this is it this is my goats living off a of pasture or whatever the heck you want to call it and the body conditions um, this this doe right here she just weaned her kid so you can see she's a little bit uh, smaller bodied and she is a younger doe so she's out here right now putting the weight on and um, this doe right here I can't remember how old she is uh, I believe she might be six years definitely six years and older maybe even nine years old um, so she's definitely a little smaller weight you know lighter weight than others the others because of her age but again take a look ranch raised doe ranch raised doe these girls know how to do their jobs and they know how all they need is just a little bit of care if you you know, if you see, take some and you have them on your pasture and you see them losing a little bit of weight, then you supplement until they get in, get going. And uh, you always watch their body weight. Now, the other thing is I'm a minimalist. I do not like to put a lot of um, feed or, I mean, um, medications into my goats. So, these girls are not dewormed on a regular basis. In fact, they are only dewormed if they are dropping a lot of body weight and the feed's not doing it for them and they're getting an unthrifty look. Um, that's it. That, I would say pretty much none of these girls have been dewormed in at least two years if not longer the only vaccinations I give is CDT um, I try to do my first shot at one month old my second shot at two months old and then an annual shot every year after uh, honestly there's been times that doing this by myself that goats slip by and <laughs> I don't realize it and they might not get their CDTs at all and it's two years down the line after kidding that I realize oh my god I have no records of this goat having a CDT shot freaks me out every time but guess what they are doing fine they never have an issue their kids don't have issues everyone's good so that makes me pretty dang happy but this is it this is my girls doing what they do ranch raised over right here not sure if there might be a couple I, let me see let's see this doe here 
is not one of my ranch raised does, I believe. Let me see if I can get her to... Or maybe she is. Nope, she's not. So this one is a bot doe. And she's actually doing pretty good. The other one that I bought uh, alongside of her is did not do as well. She's just not able to cope. So she'll be sold. But this one... You can see she just weaned her kids not long ago and she I think it was in again September and uh, she's doing good she's gaining weight and she's doing her thing and she knows to eat so that's always a good thing but they'll be out here for an hour or so this morning and then go and lay down and chew their cuds and they're They'll come back out later, but that's them doing their thing. Makes me happy to hear the munching. So, this is, ran, you know, Ponderosa boar goats, ranch raised does, pasture hardy. And the majority of these does, if, if not all of them, can kid, half kitted by themselves. Um, I like to be out there when they're kidding because there's always a chance of something happening. And you know, if I might help pull a little bit just to help the process go quicker for everyone. But on average, I don't need to pull kids. I don't pull kids, you know. Uh, the triplet off, you know, and to, so that the doe can raise only one, I mean two kids. My does are required to raise the kids that they bear. Um, anything over triplets, I will help supplement the quads and uh, quince if I am cursed with those. But um, I have found that even with triplets, they might not grow out as well as the singles and the twins. But after they get off their mother, get on the feed, and start grazing on their own like this, they usually come right out of it and do a very good job. So I, I'm sure there's a bottle baby in here somewhere, but... Honestly, I can't remember who's bottle babies, so I would have to get numbers on that to show you them. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know, show you what I mean by being pasture hardy. And hopefully, people will now understand. Okay, first time of ever doing this. Hope I didn't ramble too much. And hope you could hear past my traffic. So I hope everyone have has a good day and God bless. Thank you.